So this is a little vertical lettuce tower I've been working on, and uh, I think other people may want to take a shot at building this thing once we get it done. I've still got to put my media on the inside of these. These are rain gutter. And you'll notice that there's just some boards. The holes have been pre-drilled for the 2x4s. And everything can lift up, up and out, but it pushes you know, your drip line up. But it seems to work out pretty well because you can line them back up, pull down on the hose, and it's all, you know, they're all locked in. So if you look up there, we've got, they're just kind of hanging. And this is rain gutter with end caps, and it fits right in between. You know, it's the width of studs. And this is like a tough box. And I've got a little twist. Still there. Got a little twist on elbow right there. Seems to get me to turn that corner, and then these are electrical, electrical uh, conduit clamps just to kind of keep that. And this is just half inch poly. Even though it's brown, you can get it black at the store. Don't buy the funny pipe, it's actual drip line pipe. And then just little quarter inch barbs is all you know that we used up there to. Uh, Put this little six inch uh, line down through there. It's quarter inch line, you know, six inch sections. And uh, I was looking for the barbs so you can see those two. Just quarter inch barb, there's no metering on it, so they're free flowing. This is the pump I'll be using. It's a, a 400 gallon per hour pond pump. It's important for this that your pump will go at least six feet. So this shuts off at, you know, just over six and a half feet, and the flow gets quite a bit lower. At five feet, it's 435 uh, liters per hour. I don't know what that is. I'm gallons. 115 gallons per hour, I guess. Um, so pretty simple build, if you'll notice. Um, these... Uh, arms have holes. I haven't put the legs on the sides of it yet. They'll swing down. This table folds down actually so you can work on it. So I've got the two bolts and uh, this one here just has a wing nut as well as that. And this table um, it basically just pivots down. I got this other bench because I don't have the legs. In fact I should probably pivot it down just so you can see how fast it pivots. And it'll be light. We're going to put some light media in it. I'm going to try a few different things. I have hydrogen, which I probably will not try. But I also have... Um, I'm going to get some perlite. It's that white rock stuff we'll probably try filling it up with. But now you can get a better look at what's going on in here. And all these towers can be lifted in and out. Everything's really accessible, but rigid enough for... The wind and everything else so you can see these are nine sixteenths holes with uh, a seven sixteenths bolt going through them so that's kind of the idea here is to be able to fold it down and work on it have it grow vertical so that you have enough you know space because i i seem to run out of run out of space here quite a bit and uh, it'll be a hydroponic system. I suspect this would work fine with aquaponics as well. But I want to talk about the tricky parts because you can see this isn't special framing. I built these little uh, triangles here. And uh, I'll actually show you this print. So I don't know if the detail will be good enough on the computer screen. But... Uh, we're 19 and a half to the center of that bolt. The whole tabletop is six feet long. The hole for that leg comes in four and a quarter. And then this leg is 43 and a quarter inch long. And you'll measure back five and I got 5.8. So, you know, you can turn that into a fraction and get close. And then that's the angle that you'd cut off right there. And on the bottom half of that, 
of the 43 and a quarter length you would measure back from here to there 2.1 and cut that segment off then this one is 41 and three quarters so you know it's not real tricky you got a straight here a straight here two angle cuts and make four of those drill it out with a 9 16 drill bit little spade bit like you know one of these and uh, put a 7 16 bolt in it and then, then you've got a pivoting table and uh, the bolts are right on center so you know half of three and a half inches I'm using two by fours or whatever you're using but that's pretty much the uh, build on it that's this is a list of all the parts I used I had 10 two by fours a small box of three inch grabbers a small box of one inch grabbers three quarter inch uh, hole straps four of those half inch strip hose is about 15 feet I bought a drip hose elbow a PVC three quarter coupler I had six seven sixteenths bolts uh, four seven sixteenths nuts and two seven sixteenths wing nuts quarter inch strip hose quarter inch strip hose fittings uh, those are the barbed fittings to fit into the main line rain gutter downspout three lengths of 10 feet could use PVC instead but I you know this stuff was a little bit cheaper I thought um, rain gutter uh, I had to buy a full length of it and then the end caps um, the, and it's vinyl so the end caps actually just snap on it a tube of caulk a pond pump that pumps at least six feet high a pump to drip hose fitting a 9 16 drill bit a tough box tote a 3 30 second drill bit and swamp cooler pad is what I'm gonna try um, rolling up we're gonna take and roll it up see how this is circled this way we're gonna cut a length off roll it up and then stuff it down the tube and then we'll slit in it from the side and then as the roots come in here they'll be able to grow down and into all the segments of this uh, foam but here's the tricky part of this build this is a swamp cooler bushing it goes right on the end of a swamp cooler this is a sprinkler pipe riser but it happens to be a two footer and the cool thing about these bushings is they got an ID thread that will hold that riser they also have a hose fitting if you wanted to drill a hole and put this in the rain gutter to drain back in and then hook a, a garden hose fitting onto it right here that would work out perfect I'm just using this because I wanted a, a rigid line so we're gonna pop a hole in here put the swamp cooler fitting and then once it's attached I'll drill a hole in the yellow lid and when I need to slide the bucket out you know this will just basically unscrew and the bulkhead it's like a bulkhead fitting but it's a swamp cooler bushing will fit here and it's a lot cheaper than a bulkhead so that's how I'm doing the return drain and then on my pump this is another one of those drip line fittings it's going to hook to that, that end of that brown hose what you do is you push it on then you loosen this and that's what tightens it up to hold it on they're the easiest ones to put in but this is a a uh, three-quarter inch uh, elbow with the standard threaded fitting that this pipe riser would thread into or pretty much any sprinkler bushing this is a three-quarter coupler three-quarter to three-quarter and then this one here is probably the tricky bushing this one goes from uh, I think it had a it's designed to actually press onto a piece of three-quarter inch uh, fitting so you'll notice that this fits right onto it and that's a coupler so it's a three-quarter inch diameter pipe so what people do is they take these they buy them they push them into a three-quarter pipe and then they glue it and then they can go right from three-quarter pipe to uh, the drip pipe but but then I had this weird pump that was just some size that who knows what so I took this fitting heated it up with my heat gun until it got rubbery and then just pushed it on and it had a nice tight tension fitting but it still retained the three-quarter piece here which is where my coupler will go on I'll drill a hole this will come out of the box and then I can just slip fit pull the main line up and out the box uh, you know if I need to get at the lid 
And the reason for doing that is uh, none of these fittings will be glued. So when I want to lay the table down, you'll have to undo the two wing nuts, loosen this guy here out, um, and this guy should work out just fine. He probably won't even need to come off the pump. He'll he'll just be hooked onto that brown hose, and I've left enough. It should swivel with it. So anyways, there's our lettuce tower. We're almost done. Um, once we get the lettuces growing in it, we'll post up a picture. So thanks for watching.